Now a live look outside tonight, cooling down a little after a steamy day. Meteorologist Rob Ellis is here with your real time forecast. Rob. Yeah, and a pattern change is on the way. So when we talk about this kind of warm and humid pattern, that's all about to go away, but it comes with a price. And I'm going to talk about what that price is. Temperatures tomorrow should be able to go back into those 80s, but a little bit cooler than where we were today. This is about the last 12 hours of radar. I want you to notice what happened. It was quiet. We heated up. There are the storms and then we quieted and cooled down and that's going to be the case for tomorrow as well. So one more day of this pattern before we finally start to see things change up. Here's satellite and radar tracker quiet overnight as we get into uh, late afternoon tomorrow. Again, the radar is going to become active with temperatures going back into the 80s. This hasn't changed. I want you to pay attention to this. The south or southeast wind that's going to be with us through tomorrow and really even into Thursday as well. When that changes, that's when the pattern change will happen. So yet again, it kind of starts out with that same pattern. Quiet in the morning as we get into the midday and afternoon. We warm the temperatures up, not quite as warm, 70s instead of 80s. But then at some point during the day, we're going to see a front roll through. That front, unfortunately, will kick off even more showers and storms. And sometime Thursday evening, that south component to the wind becomes a north component to the wind. And once that happens, we finally are able to tap into some of that cool and drier air. So it takes our temperatures from the 80s and eventually moves them down into the 70s for the weekend and firmly into the 70s for the weekend, maybe even upper 60s for some of you uh, for most of the day. But unfortunately, that comes with a decent rain chance. Anytime you change the pattern from hot and humid to much drier, you got to squeeze out some of the moisture and we're going to do that on Thursday. What has me a little bit concerned is that as we get through time, most of the models are squeezing out a good bit of rain. Now, I always caution you don't pay attention to exact low locations because each model run these little blobs of higher rainfall. They may shift around a little bit, but notice what's happening. Some locations getting very little rain, less than a quarter of an inch, and some locations getting a bullseye with a lot of rain, maybe as much as one to two inches of rain in a very short amount of time. We do not need that with the very saturated ground that's in place. So if we can get through Thursday without any flooding concerns, we'll have a nice chance to dry out much cooler, much drier, much more comfortable. Comfortable we like. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rob.